This is the new Audi A6 e-tron concept. And when the production version of this car goes on sale in about two years time, it could be available with very high-tech headlamps, which can project video games for you to play on a wall. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm gonna try out this new technology because I have control. That's because I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, Car Wow. Let's start off this video by talking about the technology that makes being able to play video games with your car's headlights possible. And it's this, it's a Texas Instrument Micro Mirror Chip. It's essentially the same technology that you get in your DLP projector at home for watching movies on. So this sits in the car's headlight unit like that. Three LEDs send light at it and there's 1.3 million little mirrors which can actually reflect the light exactly where you want it to go. So it allows you to create images, pictures, or whatever. I want to show you just how small these little mirrors are. It's insane. Here we have a microscope and on the microscope slide is a human hair and look you can see it there. Underneath the hair is that micro mirror module and if I change the focus you can actually see the individual little micro mirrors themselves and basically what you've got is 10 of those little micro mirrors make up the width of the hair. You can get the new digital matrix LED headlights on the e-tron and the A8, and they give you a really cool welcome signature when you get in the car, or obviously when you get out of it, it'll give you a goodbye animation as well. That's just for a bit of fun, really, though. What you can also do is project a carpet of light when you're driving down the motorway to help guide you and keep you in lane. Do you know what? I thought it'd be a good idea to try out the system myself while driving. So I'm in an A8 hybrid. I'm gonna turn the digital matrix LEDs on and what it should do is project a carpet of light in front of me to help guide me and keep me in lane. Another thing that it does, which is quite interesting, is if I need to indicate to change lane, it'll help guide me into the lane. Can you see it swooping? Then I can move across and it will then fill that lane before I get into it. It's pretty cool. Another thing the system does is show some little markers on the road. You may be able to see them just like little dashes and it shows you exactly your lane positioning. Now, it appears that I kind of drive slightly skew if in lane, so this is actually helping me out a bit. <laughs> it's quite funny and quite useful. And if a car's broken down at the side of the road and the telematic system knows it, it'll actually put a warning sign in that copy of light to just alert you of the potential danger. Anyway, seeing as I'm on the auto bar now and it's de-restricted, let's see if this system works at maximum speed. What is the maximum speed that I can get to? Can I do the full 250 kilometers an hour? It's scary going this quick in the dark, especially when someone pulls out unnecessarily. Yes, get out of the way. Out of my way. It's quite quick, this hybrid. It's got 460 horsepower from its three liter twin turbo V6, coupled to an electric motor. Two hundred and sixty-three kilometers an hour. I think I'm backing off, and the headlight system is still working. Oh! And to be fair, <laughs> this system is all about safety. But how do these engineers want to have a bit of fun with it? Hence the fact of using it for playing video games and I'll do that in a bit. You see Audi's always been an innovator in terms of headlight technology. It was the first manufacturer to introduce white LED daytime running light to a production car back in 2004 on the old A8. The daytime running light game has moved on quite a bit at Audi since those five LEDs per headlight. For instance on the Q4 e-tron you can choose between a few different designs of LED patterns. You just use the infotainment system inside the cabin. One thing I didn't notice when I first reviewed this car was that built into the headlight is this bit of metal, which actually acts a little bit like the blinds in your house used to block out sun. And it means that when you view the car from the side, it doesn't matter what pattern you've got there, the headlight just looks the same all the time. They do take a lot of consideration into headlight design over at Audi, but the way they're actually doing the design of the headlights has also changed as well as the lights themselves. Audi's light designers used to design lights using good old fashioned paper and pen. In fact, that was drawn by Audi's current head of light design. And he, he prefers this technology, though his staff tend to use digital technology so they can quickly design lights. Look, I've had a little go here and you'll just be able to display it now here. Look, sort of like a Pac-Man thing. Though you can have quite a bit of fun with this. However, I don't think this light design I'm gonna try now is ever really going to take off, but let's give it a go anyway. I think I'll just leave that hanging there. 
Audi isn't just about headlight technology, it's also interested in tail light technology. So the new A8 is available with OLED tail lights, which actually have six different elements in. So you can change the graphic display on the tail light from the infotainment system, just like you can with the headlights on the Q4. Look at that, and this is so thin. This light is created by a panel that is only one millimeter thick. It is insane, but it's getting even insaner. Or should that be more insane? Hmm. You see, that A8 has eight of those panels. So eight times six, that's 48 different light elements. From 2024, when the A6 e-tron arrives, you will be able to get a lighting signature at the rear that has 24 panels with 60 different elements in. So that's a total of 1,500 light elements. And it means that you can do crazy stuff like this. It's beautiful, but I found something even more beautiful. I'm not talking about cameraman Lewis. Have a look at this. Audi plans to introduce curved glass OLED panels. It's like a work of art. I want this in my house, not just on my car, but it's not just about projected light. It's also about reflected light. Have a look at this. That is really cool. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, if you're the driver and you're trying to look through your rear view mirror, that's gonna get in the way of that light system there, but it's reflected. Look, if I put my hand there, it disappears. I really like that, and I'd like that if I was buying an Audi, and it's gonna be available this year. It's been introduced on an all new car, though that all new car is only gonna be available in China. Eventually, this technology might be available on European cars too, I hope. I love it. It's just so simple and so cool. So here we are then, a world first playing a video game projected by a car's headlights. Now, this particular game has actually been developed by Audi's light design team. They're better at designing lights than games, shall we say. This is just for a demo, really. So let's have a little bit of a play. Here we go. So essentially what I'm gonna do is control the spacecraft around this track. Now, this is really quite a simple game. However, this system could be made available. The technicians really wanna make it happen. And if enough customers say we want this, they will put it on sale for sure. And the idea will be that various game manufacturers, just like with mobile phones, will create games for the car. And you can just imagine, you know, you're charging your Audi A6 e-tron and you sit there in front of the car having a bit of a blast on the game. It could be that you sat inside the car projecting it onto a wall and using the car's steering and brakes to play a driving game. It's totally nuts. I have never done this before. <laughs> and I'm amazed I'm playing a computer game using a car's headlamps. It's utterly brilliant. <laughs> I'm surprised Tesla didn't come up with this idea. It's very Elon Musk. I do think that Audi's light design team should stick to making headlights and not programming computer games because this is a little bit 1999. Anyway, the tech though and the possibility is awesome.